Hey YouTube, Dan here from EAP Films Official and today we're going to be checking out Morissette performing Someone Like You. This was during her stages, sessions, uh, sort of home concert -y thing during the pandemic which we're still going through. So hopefully 2020 will be over very soon. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Morissette, Someone Like You. Thank you! And speaking of memory, hey nako, these past couple of months, the memories that have just been popping into my head constantly are just when I've been able to travel and enjoy the great outdoors. Good times. I feel you, <laughs> but I feel you. But really, don't we all, right? But going back to the song, I actually remember singing this song for our Sunday variety show, ASAP, um, when we were in New York. Yes, where Broadway is! And also in another event here in Manila at the Theater at Solaire, where I was performing alongside the Baltic Neopolis Orchestra. And it was just such a grand experience. Mm, live orchestras always are fantastic. <laughs> just had to put that in. Anyways, why this genre instead of all the other different types of music that are more familiar to me or are in my comfort zone. Well, I, I just said it, I wanted to try something different. And why not music from the theater where the songs are just full of emotion and depth, Oh, this is know? gonna be good, isn't it? Sa Tagalog pa, who goat. Whoa, who goat? I mean, I actually really do enjoy singing Broadway songs. I love how it feels on my voice, although it's not very, it doesn't come naturally to me. But one trivia is that when I'm vocalizing or just singing to warm up my voice, the songs that I would actually sing would be Broadway songs. I'll just like the technique of of all these Broadway singers. It's like something that I'd also like to take in, but at the same time still keep that Morissette flavor, you know? <laughs> but I just really ha like how it feels in my voice. But I do remember back when me and my mom had just relocated here in Manila. It was when I just started my career. Basically, at that time, I didn't know much about musical theater. On the other hand, my managers from Stages, I think it would be safe to say that that's their jam. They know so much about musical theater and, and even the theater community here in the Philippines and in Manila. I do remember that there was one time um, the guy who discovered me and who has continued to guide me and help me until this very day, my Tito David Cosico, there was one time that we were on our way to- Shout out to David. And we were riding his car and then he started um, putting on music and he shared to me this song from the musical Jekyll and Hyde. I peer through windows, watch life go by, dream of tomorrow and wonder why the past is holding me. Keeping life at bay I wander lost in yesterday Wanting to fly But scared to try There's just something about musical theatre that really uh, emphasizes the story and someone the emotions in that Then suddenly, nothing would ever be the same. Oh, I have heard this song before. My heart would take wings. Pretty sure Regine sang it. I think I got a reaction on my channel so for it. If someone like you found me, I didn't realize it was from Jekyll and Hyde. There you go, learn something new every day. So many secrets I've longed to share All I have needed is someone there To help me see a world I've never seen before A love to open every door To set me free so I can serve if someone like you found someone like me and suddenly nothing would ever be the same there'd be a new way to live a new life to love 
This is a song that really suits her, I think. Oh, it's such a feel-good song. Just a look at how uh, in involved in the song she gets. Beautiful, Mori. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's so good. You know, I was gonna say. Well, I did say earlier how um, how music. I think musical theatre really suits Mori's voice. She said it. She finds it. It doesn't come natural to her. I wonder in what way, because in terms of emotion and giving us like a really heartfelt performance, I mean she gives that in pretty much most of her performances anyway, so I don't think she struggles with that. I wonder if it fits the clarity, the pronunciation, because I noticed in my other reaction uh, to the duet between Regine Velasquez and Lea Salonga, I did say how you can tell Leia has had a history, a long career in musical theatre just by the way she pronounces her words, like she's really clear and very pronounced in the way she sings because in musical theatre I guess you would have to because you've got a live audience, they need to understand you, project your voice, that kind of thing and um, when it comes to singing, I mean you know, even in musical theatre they would have microphones but they wouldn't have them handheld, they'd be normally strapped to their head so, I don't think they would need to project as if they would not have a mic. Having said that, they still need to be clear because they are still trying to tell a story and, you know, everyone needs to understand it. So, I wonder if it's more down to the conscious thought of having to project or the conscious thought of having to be clear in how you sing that maybe she, not struggles with, but is, is sort of relearning that technique perhaps. I don't know. Um, emotionally, the way she absorbs the song and and gives us the heartfelt performance, I don't think she struggles with that. I, don't, I really don't think I really don't think she does. I mean, that's something I would imagine comes quite natural to Morissette. So I don't know. I wonder. I really wonder what she finds technically difficult about these musical theatre songs. Maybe is it just the style of the song? Is it just because of how uh, it's written or? I don't know. I'm just trying to like find something. Maybe you guys have a better insight than I do. I'm I'm not a musical genius by any stretch. I'm not even musically inclined. Uh, <laughs> not much anyway. I've not dabbled on the keyboard now and again, but uh, I haven't done that for years actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, love the performance. It's so captivating. Um, I, I love the, the the heartfelt emotion she pours into it. It really makes me miss the Philippines again. I mean, the more the more reactions that I do, not just for Mari but for anybody. The more I'm just reminded of the Philippines, the artists, the ones I haven't met yet, you know, and I'm just itching to come back to uh, to rectify that situation. Um, but also just to kind of see some friends I've that I miss, um, visit places I've not been before, and of course revisit places that I love. So um, yeah, maybe once this pandemic is over, the Philippines could be a more annual trip for me I don't know I did I did do three seasons three trips to the Philippines I always kind of thought that would be that'll be it um, just because I've achieved a lot of things and sort of you know quit while I'm ahead and go out on a high 
but I can't. I just can't resist it. I I'm, I'm want to come back, and I'm pretty sure I will come back. Maybe next year. I am looking at it. Okay, a bit of a tangent there. Sorry, guys. Uh, so back to Morissette. I know she's done a lot of home performances recently, so if you've got any more requests, do drop them in the comments below, and do provide a link. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.